quickly show you why I love using a projector for sewing. I use PDF patterns almost exclusively for all the clothes and bags that I sew, and I love trying new patterns, and I also often make different sizes as my kids grow, so constantly printing, cutting, and taping patterns, and then what do you do with them after you've done that? How do you store all these paper patterns? Um, was really becoming a hassle. So projectors really solved all of those issues for me. If you're interested in getting a projector and getting set up and calibrated, I highly recommend joining the Facebook group called Projectors for Sewing. They've put together some really incredible resources for getting your setup up and running and all the different types of projectors you can use and all the different questions and answers. It's just a really, really cool resource. So for me personally, I got my projector uh, from Amazon and I use my Mac to cast to it typically. So I'll show you what that looks like. So I've just turned on the projector here. It's getting warmed up. And I cut with, um, on a table here, you can actually put a projector on the ceiling and cut all the way on the floor if you don't have a cutting table. Um, it just depends on the projector you use, what that distance needs to be um, to be able to have a usable surface. If you don't have a good way to mount it and you don't have a ceiling or something to mount it on, you can get an ultra short throw projector that actually sits on your cutting surface and just projects immediately in front of where it sits. So it really, there's lots of options depending on what your setup is. So I'm gonna go over here to OS Cast, iOS Cast, so that I can use it with my Mac. And then I need to go to the Mac. And then from my laptop, I will turn on AirPlay from this ZY cast, and that's going to extend my desktop onto the projector screen. Right now I have the calibration tool pulled up so you can see how that works. And then this is what it looks like when that calibration image is projected and my projector has been calibrated, which means it's focused and also completely level and uh, just balanced so that one inch on the pattern is exactly one inch on my cutting mat. And now this means any pattern that I open up that's that A0 size, if I open it up to the same scale percentage, it's gonna be exactly one inch to one inch. Which saves a huge amount of time. All of that time that would have been spent cutting and prepping and taping the pattern, you can completely skip it. So I'm gonna open back up the anything but basic tee and show you really quickly what it looks like to cut with one of these. So projecting this pattern, you can just put your fabric straight down on there. This one is a little bit different because I'm resizing a t-shirt that already exists down to a little bit smaller size. So when I lay this down here, it's not gonna completely line up with the lines because I'm gonna keep the existing neckband and shoulders. So pull it down a little bit but then to cut it, it's just as easy as following the lines here. Nothing to trace, nothing to cut and tape. It's just so much faster. So projector cutting saves you tons of time. I'll do the back side here. And here we go. I'm just gonna line it up with where that cut started on the other side. And down the side, use my quilting ruler here. Just zip. And it's done. All right, stay tuned for the next video when we're going to actually sew our first shirt.